Welcome to Kogito Design. In this special video, I'll be taking you through the journey of how we created our latest game, Luddite. Luddite is a roll and write campaign game which comes with a fully integrated graphic novel, illustrated by the incredibly talented Adam Beachy. Luddite can be played solo, or can be played as a competitive or cooperative multiplayer campaign. The game is live on Kickstarter right now with some exciting exclusives for backers and you can find a link to this in the description below. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, we'd love to have your support. This video is not going to teach you all the rules of Luddite but is instead more focused on the decisions that went into building the gameplay, the world and the components of Luddite. Ultimately, to tell the story of how Luddite came to be. Luddite is set within the same universe as our vast open world legacy game Solar 175. I go into a lot more detail about the intense world building that went into Solar 175 in my design diary video for that game. But in summary, the Solar 175 universe is a cyberpunk style dystopia, set 175 years after a cataclysmic event known as the Unspeakable War. Humanity has begun to settle the many moons and planets of the solar system, and the vast wealth and energy released from off-Earth mining have created an intense technological advancement, but the spoils are far from evenly shared. Advances in AI automata have meant large swathes of humanity are now essentially obsolete. Humans are unable to find employment as ultra-intelligent machines, known as the NEDs, are able to perform virtually any task to which they are assigned. The interplanetary, solar system-wide government has attempted to alleviate this situation through the implementation of a universal basic income scheme. But the corruption endemic within each political party means this is, in reality, a meagre allowance and barely enough to survive. Huge slums have started to appear on all the major moons and planets, none larger than Saitama, the vast slum at the centre of Urushi, Earth, and therefore humanity's greatest city. This slum is the setting for Luddite. During the production of Solar 175, it became very obvious that the gigantic universe we had created was too large for any one single game, even one the size of Solar 175. And so we played around with several spin-off ideas. The first was Gonza Index, a fast-paced card game which delved into the economics of the Solar 175 universe. Gonza Index pits players against each other as competing stockbrokers, aiming to capitalise on the shifting fortunes of the major corporations of the Solar 175 universe. In Luddite, we wanted to look at the other end of the economic spectrum. Economic inequality in the Solar 175 universe has reached astronomical levels, and for Luddite, we wanted to tell the stories of a group who fought back against this tyranny of the techno-oligarchs. The direct inspiration for Luddite is noted clearly in the very name of the game. Without wanting to give too much away, the idea of history having a circular element to it is an important element of the Solar 175 story, and this idea flows into Luddite. Luddite is in effect a modern retelling of the tale of the original Luddites. These 19th century British textile workers fought against their replacement by the Jacquard Loom. This loom was in many ways an important precursor to the digital revolution in the 20th century, and therefore it seemed an apt metaphor for the rebels of Saitama slums in their fight against the Neds. Luddite follows the story of a young engineer recently laid off from the Niven Corporation after the Neds took over. Losing his livelihood and home, he moves back to Saitama to live with his ma. In his dejected state, he is recruited by the charismatic Red Ludd, another engineer discarded by a major corporation. Red has decided to fight back by act of sabotage against the Neds themselves. Luddite is a dramatic tale of bravery, sacrifice, friendship and betrayal, set in a dark and unforgiving dystopian future. We thought for a long time about how to tell this story best, and by far the most exciting plan we could envisage was that of a graphic novel. 
In Solar 175, we have been very fortunate to hire the services of the incredibly talented artist Adam Beachy, and his ability to bring our world to life was truly astounding. For Luddite, we therefore decided he was the perfect person to team up with to tell this story, and as you can see, we are very pleased he proved more than up for the challenge. Gameplay Luddite as a story came first, but very early on in the process, we were developing the gameplay side of the project. The core of the story is the protagonist and his team of rebels hacking into and attempting to sabotage the Neds. This is therefore the clear place to incorporate the gameplay. These perilous missions were at the heart of the motivation for the events of Luddite, and this was therefore where we wanted our players to feel the most agency and input. Very early on in the process, we agreed that the roll and write mechanism should be the driving force of the game. Roll and write is a versatile and engaging game mechanism for many reasons, but two stood out to us foremost. First, roll and write games allow very easily for wide ranges of player counts. We wanted the Luddite story to be a thrilling solo campaign experience, but also to allow for that experience to be shared with any number of friends. A second great element of Roll and Write is the versatility the mechanism has. We were inspired by many great Roll and Write games. Rolling Realms, Welcome To, Railroad Inc and Voyages. And the huge number of ways this mechanism can be used allowed us to create interesting and complex puzzles that changed and adapted as players progressed through the campaign. Another big inspiration for Luddite was Logic Gates. I know, inspiration can come from anywhere. As the core mission of the Luddite is to hack into the digital Ned Automata, we were looking at ways to bring that feeling to the game table, and these logic gates were perfect. They allowed us to create interesting puzzles where players could move around the network of the Ned by opening and closing switches using their dice. To move into this node, switch 3 must be off, and to move into this one, switches 4 and 5 must be on. It was an intuitive and highly thematic mechanism that was perfect for this game. Finally, we added a new game clock style mechanism, which quickly became the standout mechanism of the game. In rounds of Luddite, three chunky D6 dice are rolled, and each round at least one of them must be added to the clock module. This is how you remain hidden during your hack, and so using small numbers here is very advantageous. The smaller the numbers added to the clock, the longer you can remain inside the hack, and therefore the longer you have to commit acts of sabotage. Luddite hacks require you to enter the circuits of the Ned with your nanobot or needle. But if you don't get to the exit node by the time the clock runs out, your whole hack is a failure. And so taking your time is a strong option. However, adding higher numbered dice to this clock burns through the Ned systems and deals large amounts of damage all by itself. It also frees up your low dice for uses elsewhere, where they can be very powerful. The combination of these elements creates non-stop tension and interesting decisions for players of Luddite. Working out how to utilise dice and how early to need to head to the exit will keep players engaged in their missions. Components Another great aspect of the roll and write mechanism was that we discovered, as we progressed with the design, that we could release Luddite in a few interesting ways. The Luddite Kickstarter therefore has three distinct versions of the game to choose from. Each contains everything from a gameplay perspective, but it also allows players to choose the model that fits them best. First, we have a print and play edition of the game. Here players gain all the digital PDFs they need to print the game and play it at home. They also gain digital PDFs of the full graphic novel and rulebook. This budget-friendly option allows players complete access to the gameplay, artwork and story of Luddite, but at a hugely accessible price of only $5. Great for a time of high inflation and income uncertainty. Up from this, we also have created a full digital edition of the game. This video game version comes with a fully animated and voice acted version of the graphic novel and allows for us to throw in some awesome animations. 
as the computer itself handles a lot of the rules, it is actually also a great way to learn and teach the game to newcomers quickly. And of course, at the top end is a full physical edition of the game. All Kagito games put a great emphasis on component quality and Luddite will be no exception. From engraved metal coins to giant chunky dice, the Luddite physical game will give gamers a top quality premium tabletop experience and presence. Thank you so much for watching this video on the creation of Luddite. If you'd like to know more about the game, we have a Kickstarter campaign which goes live today. Find the link to our campaign in the description below and if it sounds of interest, then as I said, you can get involved for as little as $5. We cannot make games without the support of backers and so we'd absolutely love to have you come along with us on this new creation. So I'll see you there. Bye.